Hey everyone, this lesson is on an introduction to coronaviruses including SARS, MERS, and the new coronavirus from Wuhan, China. So in this lesson we're going to talk about what coronaviruses are, we're also going to talk about what animals are infected with coronaviruses and animals that act as hosts for coronaviruses. We'll also discuss some of the common signs and symptoms of coronaviruses and we're going to talk about a brief history of epidemics caused by coronaviruses including SARS, MERS, and the new coronavirus. So coronaviruses are a family of RNA viruses in the order known as nidovirales. Coronaviruses are significant viral pathogens in both humans and animals. They can cause significant disease. And the word coronavirus, so the prefix corona actually comes from the Latin word for crown. And it's actually due to, or named for the crown-like appearance of the virus. So here is a electron microscope image of a coronavirus. And as you can see here, these are the membrane surface proteins and it looks a bit like a crown. And here's another image as well. There are four classifications of coronaviruses, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So it's very easy to remember. And human coronaviruses are alpha and beta coronaviruses. So the coronaviruses we talk about and we hear about are in the first two classifications, alpha and beta. Coronaviruses are medium-sized viruses that envelope a positive stranded RNA. And the coronaviruses themselves have a very large viral RNA genome. They have the largest viral RNA genome known. So what are some of the hosts and reservoirs of these viruses and what animals are infected by these viruses? So coronaviruses infect both birds and mammals, but bats are hosts to the largest number of viral genotypes of coronavirus. So they act more as hosts. They don't necessarily become infected with these viruses. They become hosts to many number of viral genotypes of coronavirus. So their immune system is able to suppress a lot of these viruses and they simply act as hosts, but they can transmit these viruses to other birds and mammals. And epidemics from coronaviruses generally occur when viruses are transmitted from one species to another. And this is because the viruses can acquire or develop mutations in proteins on their envelope to allow them to bind to cells and infect other cells more easily. So this is why we see that when viruses can be transmitted from one species to another, they can acquire mutations and acquire new abilities to infect cells of other species. So this is why it's important or it's significant when a coronavirus gets transmitted from one species to another. So with regards to humans, human coronaviruses are causes of both respiratory and gastrointestinal tract infections. And these human coronaviruses are relatively common causes of illness in humans. And it's estimated that coronaviruses account for approximately five to 10% of all adult upper respiratory tract infections. So they can cause a lot of respiratory tract infections anywhere from a common cold to pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. So there's a wide variety of signs and symptoms from coronaviruses. So there are several coronaviruses that humans are infected with more often and then there's other ones that cause more significant illnesses and infections. And some coronaviruses can even cause GI or gastrointestinal tract infections and common symptoms of gastrointestinal tract infections with coronaviruses includes diarrhea. And when mutations occur, coronaviruses can be significant causes of human epidemics. And as we mentioned before, a lot of times these mutations can occur when the virus is transmitted from one species to another or an entirely new coronavirus can be developed through these mutations. And we have seen several instances in the recent past where there has been transmission from one species to another leading to a new virus and a new outbreak of coronavirus. So in this slide, I'm gonna talk about some of those recent outbreaks of coronaviruses. So the first one is severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS. And this occurred in the years 2002 to 2003. Early reports show it in early 2003, but it was likely occurring even before that in 2002. So it seems to have started in Guangdong province of China, and it is itself a beta coronavirus, and it is said to be in the lineage B cron beta coronavirus. So there are different lineages within the beta coronavirus category, and SARS is in lineage B. And what seems to have occurred is that this particular coronavirus, SARS, was transmitted from bats to civets to humans. So from bats to civets and all the way to humans. This led to a worldwide outbreak, and the outbreak was recorded as early as February 2003, and it seemed to have lasted until July of 2003, and there were more than 8,000 recorded total cases and 774 deaths, with a fatality rate of 9.6%. 
Another coronavirus outbreak was the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, outbreak, which occurred in 2012. This started in Saudi Arabia, and it quickly spread to several countries. It itself is a beta coronavirus as well, and what seems to have occurred here is that the virus was transmitted from camels to humans, so either through eating camels, or exposure to camels, or drinking camel milk. And as of this video, there are more than 2,400 cases of MERS with a recorded 858 associated deaths, with a fatality rate of approximately 34.4%, so very high fatality rate with the MERS infection. And the newest one that has come on the scene is the 2019 novel coronavirus, and it's designated 2019-NCOV. So this one occurred in December of 2019. It's probably even earlier than that, and we'll talk about more about that in the next lesson. And this virus started in Wuhan, a city in Hubei province of China. And it is the seventh coronavirus found to cause illness in humans. And like SARS and MERS, it is itself a beta coronavirus, and it has a lot of similarities to SARS, which we'll talk about in the next lesson as well. And what seems to have taken place here is that right now we're not sure exactly how it was transmitted. There was some early evidence suggesting that it was transmitted from snakes to humans, but now some evidence is suggesting it's more likely that it came from bats. So there was an animal market in Wuhan that seemed to be the epicenter for this outbreak. And it is suggested that there was exposure to live and dead animals. And right now it is suggested it was bats that was the source of this coronavirus. So right now, as of the recording of this lesson, there are more than 10,000 cases of this Wuhan coronavirus. So it's actually surpassed SARS but the fatality rate is luckily lower than SARS. It is approximately two to 3% at this point. So in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about the 2019 novel coronavirus in a lot more detail. We're gonna talk about the origins of the virus. We're also gonna talk about how it has spread the cases, and we'll also talk about signs and symptoms of the virus as well. So. I hope you find this lesson helpful. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel. And stay tuned for the next lesson on the 2019 novel coronavirus. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.